Today, my travels at the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles, my least favorite place in the whole world to go to, brought me to the Hicksville Dollar Tree. So let's see if I could turn something yucky into something fantastic. Because I don't normally go to this store, but if the DMV brought me to this Dollar Tree, maybe it was all worthwhile. Oh boy, now we're talking, guys. I was trying not to buy any full stuff, but here it is in full effect and I can't wait to show you guys all of these awesome goodies. They are so exciting. I am seeing these cute little pillows and I think that they're cute to put like on your kitchen chairs. They're very little but they're so cute. One says happy harvest. Uh, this one says grateful hearts gather here. So cute. And this one is very super farmhouse one says give thanks i guess everything fall is kind of farmhousey this one says bless our family i think i love them all these picks are new this year and they're stunning 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 they also come in white but i missed the boat on that i'm definitely going to be picking up some blue ones because they're so cute i just love them Ooh, i love these as well they're in the pumpkin shape you get eight pieces or the maple leaf shape these are so adorable. Love these. This beautiful barn wood looking sign says give thanks with sunflowers. And this one says harvest blessings. And they did have these out last year, but they're back and they're super cute. Wow, I don't normally love stickers, but I kind of love these. Check these out. They're so adorable. They're like leopard print pumpkins. Kind of love that. And then they have these really, really cute. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. And then there's pumpkin. Oh, this is just beautiful. I love all of these and the cup of coffee. And then they have these grateful and very thankful gnomes. But this one looks like he's drinking Starbucks. Oh my gosh, love it. I've been seeing these for weeks now. These beautiful, beautiful Dahlia picks. They're so gorgeous. They come in many colors and they're just absolutely beautiful. And I also see these six pack of sunflowers are back. I love these, they're in this size. And they also have the teensy weensy tiny ones in a nine piece. They're both so definitely fall. Both of these are really cute for crafting, super adorable. Totally loving these pumpkins. They have this really cute gourd. It's unpainted ceramic. And they have this super cute owl. I love it, absolutely love that. And the scarecrow, it looks like from the Wizard of Oz. And this pumpkin with leaves, they're so, so cute. You have the packages of assorted maple leaves. There are 50 in each bag, and some of them are burlap, which is really exciting. I love it. These are metal and they're wall hanging. They're medium size. They say fall, gather, and harvest. Really, really nice as well. I do have all sorts of deco mesh in all different assorted colors. This one is speckled. These are like candy corn. I don't mess with deco mesh. I've had many deco mesh related injuries and it's just not for me. Here is a fresh box of fall ribbon and this owl one is just absolutely beautiful. I also love the plaid one. Oh, they're all so, so nice. Of course, I know everyone's gonna go crazy for the red truck one. They're all beautiful. Velvet pumpkins are back again and they make me so happy. And I did share recently in a video that they fly off the shelves and they do. Look at that. This box is almost empty, you guys, and it's not even the end of summer. So I did say that you can order them at dollartree.com. They're unbelievably gorgeous and they would be just beautiful in a huge basket full of pumpkins. They're so, so beautiful. I love them. I'm seeing these four piece ornaments in the orange truck which is kind of titillating an orange truck or a blue truck so cute or a green truck and this is so so cool it's like an army green truck I don't know I can't choose they're all so adorable I actually love that they're not red this is awesome I did bring back these DIY rock painting kits with the paint included and they have the word thankful give thanks gather and grateful and blessed and these would be really cute to get for Thanksgiving for everyone in the family to paint around the table before dinner or after dinner how fun would that be they also have the mini hay bales these are eight pieces but they're the much smaller ones they do have the corn two packs 
and the Mr. and Miss Scarecrows. I love these. They're all so fun and festive. They had these pumpkins last year and they happen to be some of my favorites. They're like the disco pumpkins. I just think they're gorgeous and they're blinged out. Really, really pretty. These are so cute. They're two packs. I don't remember seeing these last year. Eat, drink, and be scary or spooky greetings. And then this one is welcome to our haunted home and the witch is in. I love, love when they say the witch is in, but I wish on the other side it said the witch is out. That would be even better, but these are so cute. And then this one also says the witch is in, and this one says happy Halloween in a different shape. This is so vintage and retro looking, and it says trick or treat, and beware black cat crossing. Uh-oh, Halloween is also out in full effect. There's tons and tons of Halloween stuff. They also have Halloween deco mesh. This is something called journaling cards by Crafter Square. You get two of them and this is what's on it or in it. I don't know what people do with these, but they're really cool. And then there are these creepy bows, really cool. Kind of love them with the little skull, very cute. And they have these six piece spiders. I love spider decor for Halloween. They have lots of spooktacular stickers. Yes, wow, these are really pretty as well. Happy haunting, boo. Very cute, very, very cute. And then they have these wood cutouts that say trick or treat. This one is like a pumpkin. This one is like a pumpkin topiary inside of a coffin. Oh, they have this cute witch's hat. So cute. Oh, you could decoupage it. This one is like a coffin. Here we have some spooktacular. We have this really cool bat. And then this says trick or treat. This is a really, really gorgeous. Or this amazing spider cutout. But look at this. Day of the Dead. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, these are beautiful. Be really, really careful with these. They're very delicate, but they're really amazing. You can really bling them out with some real roses, maybe some jewels on their faces, and leave them natural. I kind of love them. The trick or treat one, they're all really lacy and beautiful, and they're real wood. So, so cool. I could see just buying that, leaving it natural wood. and just adding a spider to the center of it. That might be really cool. These are die cut wooden boxes, but they could be used for treats, all sorts of great gifting ideas. They have this little slide, but you could actually just add a light to them and make them into little shadow boxes. I love them, they're really cool. Wow, these are amazing. They're gold toe, two pairs of boot socks, heavyweight wool blend, full cushion, do you see how thick and cushy those are? That's an incredible deal. I am absolutely thrilled to find these. And these are the compression ones, gold toe compression. And they're a phenomenal deal for a dollar. Really great, great if you have to stand on your feet all day for your job. And I'm seeing these super cute striped ones. I absolutely love these. They are no show, but they're in the men's size, but they're great for bigger feet women or men and they have these with the marlin i think that is fish or stripes just so cool you guys lots and lots to choose from of gold toe socks these knee highs just power socks lots and lots of choices really cool cool socks my buddy pamela reviewed these on her channel muncheros chimmy my buddy pamela just reviewed these on her channel chili lemon peanuts from pamela's world and she said they were delicious, but I also see these and they say chili lemon botana. I guess that means assortment. I don't know, but those look delicious too. Those are pumpkin seeds. Yum. These are so going in my cart. Never seen before. It says fluffy stuff, watermelon, cotton candy. That's exciting. These are all so nice that I really cannot even choose. They come in pink. 
these are also nice. I literally cannot even choose, but they are made very cool and different than the last bunch. You can even stack them and glue them together just to make some subs more substantial candle holders in different heights like stack three and then two and then one these blue and white ones are unbelievably nice really really beautiful i love them then they have these baby blue ones that are perfect for making cake stands and tear tray baby blue and white dipped looking one they also have pink ones that are kind of like a pedestal as well. These are gonna be in everybody's hot pink cocoa bar in Christmas time, I could see it now. There's so many possibilities here, so many cool candles. So many cool candle holders, they're all new and lots and lots of possibility. There are so many new candle holders and lots and lots of DIY possibilities. I do see these, but I feel that these are left over from last year because this year Dollar Tree made new projector lights and these are last year's projector lights but they're here and at the Dollar Tree now for these are definitely last year's projector lights the new ones are totally different this year and they're clear they're not in colored plastic they also have this witch and the ghost from last year as well. I'm not sure if they brought them back or they're just leftovers. They do have these Crafter Square Berry Picks in five packs and they have like foliage. They're kind of awesome styrofoam little berry picks and they come in that darker brown color and in this sort of yellow color and like a peachy color. So there's, so there's three different varieties there are three varieties of colors, and they also have these awesome berry picks. You get 36 pieces of these orange and yellow cute, cute berry picks, or these cranberry, dark cranberry looking ones. Very, very nice for crafting. And they also have the mason jar monogram, and you guys are gonna have to guess if I found mine or not. Small Space Kitchens, 101 Easy Ideas and junk overs, upcycling anything. Those sound exciting. They do have lots of other ones, easy DIY, cats and dogs, the power bowls I already picked up, hairstyles, rotisserie chicken, cast iron. Porches, decks, and patios, and remind with Elvis. You guys know how I am about my sunglasses, and these are all new to me. I've never seen them before. They don't even look like they're Dollar Tree sunglasses, but they don't have a different brand name, but they do have a different type of skew. I'm very curious to know if anybody out there knows who makes these glasses. This is new, no calories, no sugars, no carbs. Aspire, healthy energy, calorie burning, uh, orange pineapple, lightly sparkling drink. Um, if you're looking for something like this, it's at the Dollar Tree. I actually had a lot of fun with this the other day. We bought it. I never hold it, but it's really fun. I put it on my backyard fence and we were throwing it out of the pool. And this is really good. It's Velcro so you can't hurt yourself and has balls and the darts. Really fun little game for a dollar. These are so beautiful. They come in orange and white. They're porcelain ceramic. And you could probably put some string lights into this. Yeah, this is really pretty. And here we basically have everything. Look at all of this goodness. Everything, everything. These are awesome. This one says home sweet home. So cute. You could leave this up year round. And this one says grateful, thankful, blessed. They had that last year. And this one is a fall sign, but they also have the home sign. They just don't have it here. And we've already seen the harvest blessings and the give thanks. But then these are showstoppers. These are metal and absolutely amazing. This one says happy fall y'all and farm fresh pumpkins in a wheelbarrow. I mean, seriously, they're metal. They're unbelievable. I am obsessed with these. This is also really pretty. It says gather here with warm hearts. Very, very beautiful. Autumn apple cider, hay rides, pumpkins, and fall leaves. And it has this like mason jar with sunflowers. 
very pretty. They have tons of garden stakes. They have these tractors that say, welcome to our farm. And they have these beautiful blue trucks. Those are absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love this one. It's so pretty. They have the mason jars that have initials and happy harvest and always be thankful. Gather together, farm fresh fall. So nice. This one is also so pretty with the, it's also metal and it says happy harvest or hello pumpkin. Very, very cool. This one says hello autumn and it has like a plaid background and thankful and blessed with the red truck. Everyone's gonna go crazy over these. And I'm also seeing this garden steak that I know is gonna get sold out really quickly. It's so cute, really, really pretty. They've got this two pound bag of Omega long grain rice here. They have tons of it if you're trying to stock up for the winter. And they also have this one pound bag of Jasmine rice. I love Jasmine rice, so that's a great deal. It's non-GMO. This is new, pleated face mask, 100% cotton, double layer, non-medical grade. Uh, it looks really comfortable and I'm gonna pick up a few. Here we have a paint and marker pad, 24 sheets. It is by a brand called Pakin. It says heavyweight, bleed resistant, acid free, and it does feel really good quality. So that's a nice buy. These are all new by Crown Jewels. Let all that you do be done with love by the Corinthians. And then this has like a tropical print. It says, always pray and never give up, Luke. And then this one says, be courageous, be strong. And it has pretty, pretty florals. And then this one says, God has made everything beautiful in, in its time. And at the very bottom of the Halloween aisle, that I've shown you guys almost all of the stuff that they have here. They have this just hidden. And what it is, is the Halloween village. You get a trick-or-treat house with a witch's hat, a spooky skeleton ridden camper, love it. Rest in peace little grave. The laboratory, ha ha ha. With potions, look at how cute that is. There are skeleton light posts. They have so many cute little elements. This boo with a ghost. They do have a little spooky mailbox. And they also have these little graveyard scene um, three piece sets. They do have the cute little gnomes. They have like the classic witch and ghost and mummy. The cats, wow, this is so cute. They have these little, these little uh, signposts. One says, welcome, with a crow, not so welcoming, beware, and welcome ghouls. They're just all really fun and can be really cute on a tear tray. I love it all. I absolutely love all of it. Also some witch fairies. I mean, what? So cute. So cute, all of it. You pick and choose what you like. They do have the fall mats in the store, but unfortunately I missed the boat on some of them. They have the Hey There Pumpkin and the Gather Here. If you're on the hunt for the brand name cereal, they do have both the Minions and the Chocolate Churros here at this Dollar Tree. They have a ton of these really gorgeous cut above the rest gift boxes with pretty flowers in various sizes. They're so cute. Let's take a look what they look like on the inside. Well, they're kind of plain, but that's okay. They're so pretty on the outside. They also have a yellow one, beautiful. Then they have these, it says eat more cake. Look at the side of that. Sparkly hip hip hooray in various sizes. But these, this is spectacular, my goodness. I love this one and it's pretty big does come in an even bigger one and I feel like this may be my Halloween aesthetic this year I kind of love it hi guys and I bought so much exciting stuff I can't wait to share my next haul with you guys which is gonna be a hodgepodge because I've been to a bunch of stores lately but my battery died and I had to charge it before I got a chance to tell you guys that I'm going to be doing a really fun pop-up giveaway of course 
that's going to be in this box and then of course in another box but I am obsessed with these boxes you guys I feel like they're Halloween-ish perhaps I'm crazy but this right here is my Halloween vibe like I like scary and retro 60s and that's what this is kind of giving me like it gives me that creepy retro 60s vibe I absolutely love these boxes so I picked up like six of them for me and for some friends but you guys are going to be getting your giveaway in one of these the biggest one there is and what you're going to be getting is everywhere I go this is sold out and as I was recording people were like pushing me to get to what was left on the shelf they fly off the shelves and they're even sold out at dollartree.com so if you are a Halloween kook like me then you're going to want of course you're going to want a pumpkin camper with a skeleton in it. And of course you're going to want the laboratory. And of course you're going to want, I mean, this, this little guy is just cute as heck. I'm sorry, but I love this. Just even this, I would have been happy. And I did pick up two, two of these. So you only get one guys. I'm sorry. I have to keep one for me. I wish they had more of these because I feel like you really need to have two light posts, but you're just getting one in the giveaway. And you're going to get the RIP grave, rest in peace little grave for a grave scene. And you're going to get the awesome spookerific mailbox. Do you guys see, do you guys see this? I mean, this is one of my favorite hauls ever. If I could just haul stuff like this, I would be thrilled. The winner of this pop-up giveaway is going to be winning this kind of trilogy of cute, shocked ghosts saying boo, which I think are really cute. Am I missing anything? Okay, so we have the laboratory, the cat, the camper, and of course, the witch's house that says trick or treat, which is beautiful. This itself, it's beautiful. If you don't like anything, you could still pop this into a tear tray and be festive. These two items alone, if you're a minimalist, but I'm like the opposite of a minimalist. I'm like a maximalist, if there's such a thing. You're also going to get a beware, keep out, go back, and it's got a spooky crow. So that's so cute. This is probably my favorite add-in that they have. A three pack of these cats. I just, I love this. Absolutely love this absolutely love it of course I picked one of everything up for myself I really was hoping to get more of those but I'm gonna have to hunt some more down because the cats are gonna also be my mother-in-law's favorites you're also gonna get one of these trilogy grave stones you're also gonna get some gnomies in case you want to gnome up your Halloween village you're also going to get the old school happy witch mummy and ghost in case you want to make it PG friendly and for all my witch fairy loving friends out there, not to be confused with my rich fairy loving friends, these are my witch fairy loving friends, you could choose to set your village up as witches. So you get all three and you decide. And then if you don't like those, you could just exchange the rest because you can't use them all, I don't think. That would be like controversial. Gnomes and witches, do they all stay in the same village? I don't know. But it would be great if all could stay in one village happily. It would be like a little microcosm of the universe. But let's not get into that today, Marina. So, yep, I think that's everything, you guys. You get the, did I show you guys these ones? I believe I did. So you get those too. So the winner of this pop-up giveaway gets the entire Halloween village. Yes. I am so excited that I was able to find two entire Halloween villages, one for me and one for you guys. So what you need to do to enter and win this giveaway is write hashtag boo. That's right, because it's a boo-rific giveaway. And it's, well, obviously it's not all gonna come in here, but some of it will come in this super cute gift box that I just think is my Halloween aesthetic. And once everything is opened, you can put it away in this little box. And that's what I'm gonna do with my Halloween village every year. I think that's really fun. Including the box, I believe that there are 16 pieces in all that you're going to be getting. Um, I'm so happy that I found the whole village 
and that I was able to get one for a lucky, lucky subscriber, hashtag boo. And thank you guys for joining me on my short shopping trip. And I do have another short walkthrough that I'm gonna be posting probably tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that one because it's another short uh, walkthrough that I hit the mother load on makeup for. So I just split it into two because I couldn't figure out how to do two giveaways in one video. And of course I'm gonna be doing a haul soon. I'm catching up because I did take a week off to prepare my husband for his procedure and to enjoy a little bit of the summer before it goes away. And I have been shopping till I've been dropping lately. So there's a lot coming up soon. Bear with me through this process. So, so hashtag boo will win you this awesome, fun Halloween giveaway. And as always guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.